New Orleans, 1981. It was the hottest summer on record. Humidity coated the city like a mass of rancid honey. If ever the city owned up to its ancient nickname, the Wet Grave, it was in the summer of 81. The murder was brutal and archaic. The victim, Frank Bousseau, was powerful and important. A call was placed for outside help. The NOPD wasn't above begging. The Beaumont agency was asked to consult, and that's how we got wrapped up in this mess. The freshly baked evidence file was kinda thin, not much to chew on, but we had some leads. We scoured the city and see what we could dig up. I started at Laveau Corp. They always seemed to be at the center of politics, crime, and even magic. Getting past the receptionist was a breeze, but their CEO, Charlotte Batten, was a different story. She wouldn't give me any details at first, but I pressed on her a little, and she snapped. I left her to cool off. I had something that was bugging me, something personal. The killing had similarities to Maria's murder. Breaking on the wheel was an 18th century manner of execution. This had to be a pattern. I needed to return to our home. Maybe I missed something, some connection. As I walked into the house, some thug jumped me. He got me good at first, but thankfully, I had some extra help. Those Laveau suits would need to try harder to get me off this case. Something bigger was going on, something we weren't meant to be digging into. This hired goon, those dead Saturday scumbags, the fanatics of the Inquisition. Hell, even the bloody casket girls were showing an interest in the case. And now, dark magic was starting to appear, ritualistic and sinister. How could we stand up against the very lower of death, let alone the monstrosities lurking in the shadows? There was so much more to this case than we ever imagined. 